Dana White loves being a star, um, and I think he found that out pretty quickly. Uh, I don't know that he, he wanted to be one initially, but when he first got glimpses of the cameras and sort of got a taste for it, he, he hungered for it. And really, the reality show has given him a profile that um, he didn't have or I think even could have imagined before. I was at, I forget, I was at one of the UFCs, and he comes out after one of the cards, and it's where all the people congregate, hoping to see fighters afterwards, and Dana's coming out, and people start chanting his name, and one guy was yelling, Dana White for president. I mean, that, that sort of stuff will get to you. I don't care who you are, or, or what kind of ego you have, or how ambitious you are. You, you will take the, the most church-going person, and if, if you want to take that person, and put them in an environment where constantly they're being told that they're, they're the best and they have the most power in the world, it, it'll go to their head. Uh, someone who finds their morality uh, in a way that uh, um, you would think would not affect you in that way, um, it, it doesn't matter who you are. And I'm sorry, I'm sort of rambling at the end of there, but that's, it's just power, power corrupts. It's a, it's, a real, it's a real cliche, but it does. And you know, I don't mean to sound dramatic in this, but um, power sort of gives you a profile and gives you an influence that um, I don't think you can cope with. A lot of people can't cope with it. It's a very thing, difficult thing to deal with. Uh, 